Why should American knife manufacturers be scared? That's right, guys. Today we're talking about why I think Chinese knives are killing the market, especially for American knife makers. Now, maybe it's just me, and maybe it's just the signs of the times and that, you know, knife the knife world is going in a different direction. But by and large, I think that many American knife makers are in for quite a shock because Chinese knives are becoming so predominant and so pervasive in the knife community. Now, this isn't entirely bad, and I'm not one of those people that says, like, or will only buy American made because it's America, right? I do think if there are, I think there are certain cases where, like, Chinese knives genuinely do offer a good value and a unique product that you just can't find in American knife manufacturers. And I think this Kershaw CQC6 is a really good example of that. Um, obviously, you can buy Emerson's, but, um, this guy really does offer quite a unique take and is a really awesome blade shape as a whole. Not to mention its sub 50, sub $40 price range makes it incredibly hard to beat, especially once you put it toe to toe with American knives. The Civivi Elementum is also really worth noting too, because while I'm not a particularly large fan of the Civivi Elementum in its many, many different forms, um, this knife is undoubtedly a bestseller for Civivi and that is why there are button locks, fixed blades, um, so many different types, you know, flippers, non-flippers. There's just so many different forms of this Civivi Elementum because it's really, honestly, a pretty darn good blade. So what is the biggest threat that is posed by the Chinese makers? For me, I think it really goes back to practicality. Now, I do have a few really good examples of practical American knives or American-made knives that are very usable, very useful, and utilitarian. But by and large, when you look at a lot of the American knife-making scene, whether it's companies like Spyderco outside of their paramilitary and para series, um, in, in a lot of other knife companies, including Benchmade, as a whole, a lot of them are specking into knives that are trying to push almost a manufactured level of custom designs and, you know, fancy materials and just knives that are ultimately really not that useful. I mean, the other day I saw a Benchmade and I'm totally blanking on the name of it, but it was a gold class and the blade was super tiny, not useful at all. It had like a reasonable sized handle, but it was just a really weird design. And uh, I really wish I could remember the name of it, but it was a gold class. And a lot of honestly Benchmade's gold class knives are just complete and utter rubbish. Like they're, they're not really usable blades and a lot of their blue class is kind of turning into that as well. Not so much that the designs aren't usable, but that the quality itself really isn't there, including in this guy right here, which ironically is a black class. So that's even worse that it's suffering from quality control issues. Um, but ultimately when it comes down to it, a lot of these American made knives are pushing into either a lack of quality control and in points where you know you would not be you you wouldn't expect to see quality control issues at a two to four hundred dollar level and luckily this hinderer is pretty problem free but there are blades in the price range of the hinderer and this benchmade mini or mini adamas that are really lacking um, in quality control and if they don't lack in quality control they are blades that are designed really for more looking at, more collecting, and to be kind of almost decorative blades as opposed to just sheerly robust usable knives. And this is where China is really cornering the market. They're giving you a blade that, you know, comes in once again around $40, $50, and it's made out of things like D2 tool steel. The lockup is good. There's no lock stick on it. You know, it's perfectly fine. And the design is really practical. And honestly, I think that this CQC6 is a really good example of a knife that looks good, but is also sheerly utilitarian. Like, I like the looks and the aesthetic of this knife, but it is also a very utility-based blade. It has a nice, solid blade stock, and it's not terribly thick but it also has a good blade shape once again good materials for use and hard use and it just works as solid squared away ergonomics that you know look attractive but are really practical and so once again that is similarly modeled in something like the civivi elementum where it's very practical and the lines are very clean 
on the Civivi Elementum. But once again, it's a very utilitarian blade. Once again, it's a, a bit of a spear point, drop point styled knife. And once again, this one's in D2. But as far as weight goes, super light in hand, super maneuverable. The very nicely done hollow grind just makes this blade super slicey. And honestly, it's kind of crazy to think that, you know, these knives are really what China, China is offering. And they're oftentimes better than something like this Benchmade uh, Mini Adamus. Like honestly, between these two, um, I do personally like the coloration and design a little bit more on the 273, but being that this is a near $200 knife and this is a sub $50 knife, I would honestly choose this blade any day of the week over this Adamus. And not to mention, there's no lock rock on this guy. This thing is locked up perfectly fine, whereas this guy actually does have some lock rock in it. Like, you guys probably can't hear because of the mic, but... Hopefully you guys could hear that. This thing does genuinely have some lock rock and you can hear it. And so like, that's pretty embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie for an American knife maker that, you know, like America was prided as far as knives and general equipment goes for their durability, their quality control. And you just don't see those things anymore or as prevalently. Now, once again, this hinderer probably isn't the best example because it is locked. It, it, it is rock solid and it is a really good performer but once again this is a near $400 knife so you would really hope that for $400 you would have those types of things but that's not necessarily a guarantee in addition to this too we see a lot of American knife makers that put a lot of pride in their name and I'm not saying that you shouldn't charge an honest price for your product. Your product is yours to price, but you often see that these Chinese knife manufacturers are heavily undercutting, um, are heavily undercutting many American manufacturers in their ability to offer a better value for what they're offering. Something like M390, which granted these two don't have that, but M390, S45VN, CPM20CV coming in at a shocking, you know, like under $200 in a lot of cases. And that is pretty darn crazy. Now I will say someone that is fighting this pretty well and a knife that I will be showcasing in the future is the Hogue Deca. And there are a few other Hogue American made knives. So I will say that Hogue is actually holding the line pretty well for being a solid, reputable American knife manufacturer that is offering things like CPM 20 CV, CPM Magna Cut, and other really quality blade steels at a sub $200. Like I believe the Hogue Deca, at least at the time of making this video, is around $150 for CPM 20 CV and their Magna Cut is about $127. So you can get a good American blade for around, you know, the hundred, you know, mid hundred dollar level, but that's just Hogue. Like everyone else, once again, with the CPM Crew Air um, Benchmade Mini Grip, you're looking at close to $200 and retail, I think these are 225. So it, and that's just in CPM crew air, you know, that's not even necessarily or hypothetically as good as Magna Cut or 20 CV. So you see a lot of high price, low performance, low practicality and design. And this is why I think really China is absolutely crushing the market. And if you don't believe me, you don't have to believe me in, and or this video, but you go look at other knife tubers out there and largely when they're talking about button lock knives, they're talking about axis like or axis clone knives. They're talking about flippers. Every single time if they do a list video, there's a few American makers on there, namely ProTech and Hogue, like I mentioned. But honestly, China with Civivi, We, um, CJRB, and so many of these other companies are on those lists, dominating those lists. And time after time, you know, you'll see like a dozen Kaisers out there that are just absolutely killing it. And the reason why, like I said, is America has just lost their competitive edge. They don't, a lot of these knife companies aren't even trying anymore. And it's really unfortunate to see that because companies like Benchmade could be doing so much better for their, for their consumers if they really did apply themselves. Anyways, guys, that's kind of my rant. Like I said, I'm not anti-Chinese knives, but it is a really big shame to see that 
high quality knives, high quality EDC blades have been made in America for so long. Um, you know, there's decades of heritage in companies like Benchmade and to see it all just really falling by the wayside in them, you know, trying to grab towards, you know, just weird, you know, folders that don't even look that good. And I think the one I was talking about was like the Tengu folder and um, like the Tengu uh, something else. Yeah, the blade I was I was mentioning is this uh, Benchmade Tengu tool, and so hopefully this shows up here on the camera. But yeah, like this type of blade right here is just completely unusable, completely unrealistic, and so it, it it's really unfortunate to see companies like Benchmade going towards stuff like that that no one's realistically going to buy unless they're you know really in love with Benchmade. So anyways, guys, that's my rant. And really, like I said, this isn't so much an anti-Chinese blade rant. This is more of a America step up your game, wake the heck up. You can do so much better than this. So anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.